our first prediction relates to how data governance is likely to change on a global, global basis. If we, if we believe that we need to turn more data into work, well, businesses haven't generally adopted many of the principles associated with those practices. They haven't optimized to do that better. They haven't elevated those concepts within the business as broadly and successfully as they have, or as they should. We think that's going to change in part by the emergence of GDPR or the General Data Protection Regulation. It's going to go in full effect in May, to, uh, May 2018. A lot, of, a lot has been written about it, a lot has been talked about, but our core issues ultimately are is that the, met, the, the dictates associated with D GDPR are going to elevate the conversation on a global basis. And it mandates something that's now called the Data Protection Officer. We're going to talk about that in a second, Dave Vellante. But it is going to have real teeth. So we were talking with one Chief Privacy Officer not too long ago who suggested that had the uh, Equifax breach occurred under the rules of GDPR, that the actual fines that would have been levied would have been in excess of $160 billion which is a little bit more than the zero dollars that has, has been fined thus far. Now we've seen new bills introduced in Congress, but ultimately our observation and our conversations with a lot of data chief privacy officers or data protection officers is that in the B2B world, GDPR is going to strongly influence not just how businesses behave regarding data in Europe, but on a global basis. AI, the, uh, a lot of the uh, undertone is cloud, cloud, cloud. Governance, governance, governance. There's two kind of the drivers I've been seeing as the forces this week is a lot of people trying to get their act together on those two fronts. And you can kind of see the scabs on the industry. People haven't, some people haven't been paying attention and they're weak in the area. Cloud is absolutely going to be driving the big data world because data's horizontal, cloud's the power source to that. You guys have been on that. What's your thoughts? What are the drivers and currency? First of do you agree with what I'm saying and what else did I miss? I mean, yeah. security's obviously in there, but. Absolutely, no, so I think you're exactly right on. So obviously governance, uh, security is a big deal, and largely being driven by the GDPR regulation that's happening in Europe, but I mean, every company today is global, so everybody's essentially affected by it. So I think data up till now has always been a kind of opportunistic thing that, you know, there's a couple guys in the organization who are looking at it as, oh, let's do some experimentation. Let's, do something interesting here. Now it's becoming government mandate. And so I think there's a lot of organizations who are, like to your point, getting their act together, and that's driving a lot of demand for data management products. So now people say, well, if I got to get my act together, I don't want to have to hire armies of people to do it. Let me look for automated, you know, machine learning based ways yeah. of doing it so that they can actually deliver on the audit reports that they need to deliver on, ensure the compliance that they need to ensure, but do it in a very scalable way. You know, if me as a customer come to an enterprise to say, I don't want any of my data stored, it's up to you to go delete that data completely, right? That's the term that's being used, and that goes into effect in May. How do you make sure that that data gets completely deleted uh, by that time that customer has? How do you get that consent from the customer to go to all this? So there's a whole lot of challenges as data as multiplies. How do you deal with the data? How do you create insights to the data? How do you create consent on the data? How do you be compliant on that data? You know, how do you create the policies that's needed to generate that? I mean, all those things need to be, that, those are the challenges that enterprise is. Digital transformation is accelerating, <laughs> data protection is being disrupted, millions of dollars are coming in, you guys are playing a role. What is the role that Drew was playing in the digital, digital transformation acceleration? Absolutely. So think of the world, right? You think of uh, companies like Domino's or Tesla. They think they're software companies, right? They deliver the server they used to deliver via software, so a softer approach of the traditional business model. In the heart of this transformation of enterprises becoming software and digitalized, it's, a, it's a data at the core. And data today will outlive more systems. And the more and more fragmented your approach to data becomes, you store data on-prem, in the cloud, everywhere in between, the data management has to become more and more centralized. So Druva is in the core of this transformation, making a data, a data transformation and making sure your data architecture of the future have a better approach of manageability and protection uh, with the Druva platform. 
you guys had a busy month this month. You got a couple of big news we're going to be talking about today: um, a funding and next generation platform. Walk us through that. Absolutely. So we have two big news to announce today. The first one being uh, 80 million dollars of capital raised, led by Riverwood Capital, followed by most other investors, including Sequoia, Nexus, and Tanaya Capital. Um, and then the number two being we are announcing a, a whole new Driva Cloud platform, which holistically takes our entire product portfolio and 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 puts it together in a nice, simplistic approach to manage your entire information uh, workload on a single platform in the cloud. The first question is mind is is everybody ready for GDPR? The answer is no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are they have they started into the journey to get have they started getting on the racetrack? Right? On the road. Yes. Yeah? It depends on maturity of that organization. Some people have just started building a small strategy around GDPR. Some people have actually started doing assessment to understand how complex is this beast and yeah. regulation. And some people have just moved further in the journey of doing assessment, but they're now putting up changes in their infrastructure to handle remediation, right? Things like, for example, concern management, things about things like deletion, right? It's could be a very big deal yeah. to do, right? I mean, so they are making changes, changes to the infrastructure that they have or their IT systems to manage it effectively. Uh, but I don't think there's any company which probably can claim that they have got it right fully end to end, right?